everyone. This is my video uh, podcast for Blue Tech Week uh, seminar. The very first seminar I attended was uh, case studies for of Blue Tech and Earth observation. Uh, speakers were Pedro Silva, Siri Carson, Alexander Halterman, Brian Chen. Um, here we have Pedro Silva. He is the chief technology officer uh, for Earth observation and laboratory uh, air center for the Atlantic area. He's based out of the Azores, um, which is an island chain in the Atlantic. Um, he is a uh, his discipline is uh, IT, information technology, and multispectral sensing um, with satellite imagery. He's working to find, uh, to um, locate um, plastic debris and pollution brought on by shipping and uh, commercial shipping industry and uh, works alongside the European Space Agency and the Copernicus satellite um if, to achieve a global continuous uh, autonomous earth observation capacity uh, the second speaker was siri graham carson she's based out of norway and the director of the ntnu oceans uh, a university out of norway she has a background in uh, ethics religion and philosophy and uh, is a good communicator in uh, establishing interagency um, cohesion and uh, setting a baseline for uh, all this new technology to kind of communicate um, on an inter international scale. Another speaker was Brian Chen. He's also um, in the project and uh, proposes uh, new wavelengths to be used or be accepted by the FCC for um, communication between these satellites at a different frequency band. Um, the second uh, video conference I attended was the Industry Space Roundtable, and it included a lot of industry um, people from NASA to JPL. Um, they spoke a lot about the uh, the hydrokinetic energy harnessing and also the effects it may have on wildlife and proposed um, using magnetometers along with cube satellites to kind of monitor the effects of uh, radio waves in the natural environment. Um, and they spoke of a, uh, a surface water observation technology, a billion dollar satellite for them to use all this um, technology to set a baseline for um, future projects and um, finding a way to automate safely um, ocean traffic and uh, be effective and not pollute us so much. I'd like to thank the ESRM 462 program and the IRA Council for allowing us to attend this um, video seminar. Thank you.